For guitarists, reading a guitar fretboard doesn't have to be that complicated. What we have is the neck of the guitar, and on top of the fretboard, we have these metal frets. And we're going to count each of them. We also have the strings, going from the biggest string to the smallest string. So with this chart, it's going up and down, and we can look at it this way. Sometimes you'll see charts that are off to the side, one way or the other. So you have to know which string is big, which one is small. So the way this one's set up, going upright, you've got the big string on this side. So make sure you can find the big string on your guitar, and make sure you can find the small string on your guitar. And look for it on the chart here. So now when you know where your strings are, the next thing to know is where the frets are. Now we can find the frets based on the picture. Look at the, the head of the guitar with the tuners on the side, just like my beautiful artwork, thank you very much. Behind this part of the guitar, if we ever put any numbers or circles or any notes here, this is what we call open or no frets. So if you were to play the guitar and not hold any frets and have your hand open, that would be no frets or open. It would be like playing the strings with no fingers on. Then the next thing we would do is we would count up each of the metal frets. So behind this pla plastic piece, sometimes it's bone or different material, that is not a fret. So if we're seeing anything behind that, it's open or no frets. When we go to the behind the first metal bar, that's our first fret. This is not the first fret. So here's fret one. Fret two, when you play behind the second metal bar. Fret three, when you play behind the third metal bar. Now there's a marker dot here, that's called the three dot. You might find it on the front or even on the side of your guitar sometimes. Then the next fret is the fourth metal fret. The fifth metal fret, the sixth metal fret, the seventh metal fret. And you notice we had dots on three, a dot on five and a dot on seven. Then if we were to play anywhere behind the eighth metal bar on any string, that would be the eighth metal fret. Then behind the ninth, it would be the ninth fret. Now that also has a dot. So we have three, five, seven, and nine dots on the face and the side of your fretboard. Then the next metal fret would be 10, 11, and the two dots for 12. One, two is 12. Now we don't really need to look above here just yet because after fret 12, it really just repeats. There's really only 12 notes that just repeat. So learn up to fret 12 and you've essentially learned the whole fretboard, or at least beyond that, it's gonna be much easier. So start with this, know your big string and your small string, know your marker dots, three, five, seven, nine, double dot 12, and then know where to count all the metal frets. And make sure whatever fretboard chart you're reading is either upright or to the side. And hopefully you've got some representation to try and tell you whether it's a big string or a small string. If you look at the picture here, you can see some of the lines are bigger and some of them are smaller. So those are the lines going up and down are the strings. So now you know how to read guitar fretboards. Have fun.